Hey y'all, so it's the night before uh, I was supposed to meet up with the Ford Explorer group. <sighs> about a nine and a half hour day at work. We get home about 10 o'clock the night. Try to scramble, get the Jeep ready, make sure things are going good. Checked all fluids, checked all joints, make sure everything's greased. Packed the Jeep up, loaded it up. Uh, soldered in a new fuse for the radio. Here you can see. He's sitting outside tonight. He's got a CB antenna on it. Don't fit in the garage with the antenna. And look at my glasses. That's right. I was putting in a fire extinguisher. I'm being dog ass tired while mounting up a fire extinguisher. Might not have been the best idea, especially one that doesn't have a fail really good safety. <sighs> so, needless to say, I got a face full of fire extinguisher tonight. Um, we'll clean up. We'll get ready to go in the morning. 0700 is going to be damn early. Um, before you guys wheel, always make sure you have at least bare minimum tools, fluids, enough to sustain you for a while. I pack extra AT4. Um, what else? Brake fluid, coolant, engine oil, zip ties. You know, you guys can't have enough crap. Um, I just thought I'd make this so you can see what all went down. I meant to videotape it. But my six-year-old, her, her dad home, dad was home, and decided to party out in the garage with me for a little while. So, that being said, Jeep's cleaned up, cooler's loaded up. Um, anytime y'all wheel, make sure you guys bring plenty of water. Hydration is key. Um, it's summertime. Not only if you get break, broke down, you get stuck. At least it's the minimum you have water and I always like to pack dry food, uh, beef jerky. Uh, also remember never to wheel alone. That's a huge no-no. Uh, at least take one or two people with you. That way, if something happens, you have a way out. We'll continue this in the morning when we get to the uh, meet up with the Explorer guys. We're going to be heading up, meeting up at a McDonald's uh, in Woodland Park, Colorado. And we're going to do a real mild trail run tomorrow, which is kind of good because we discovered a slight issue with the Jeep. And I don't know if it's going to hold up, but... Every time we flex it, the brake lines are coming loose. So I, I got to test it with the help of a friend and see if it's the line's not too not long enough or if it's a copper washer issue. If it's a copper washer issue, I have washers in the Jeep and we'll fix it on the side of the trail. If it's a brake line issue, I'll have to order longer lines or figure something else out, which would be a learning curve because this is the first truck I've ever had that flexed, or I should say Jeep vehicle that flexes like this one does. I'm used to mudding in Bronco, mild pre-runner set up in my Explorer. So, like I said, we'll pick this up in the morning. Good night, y'all. Good morning, folks. Here we go. Jeep loaded down. We're getting ready to roll out of town. No one tell the Jeep that he's not an explorer. So, got Tim Underwood. You know. Here we go. Well, made him voyage, getting ready to roll. I know, small group. Seems like some folks couldn't make it today, so we'll roll. <sighs> Pretending to be an explorer.
go to Fort Lowe. Lexi. Let me park, I'll come help him. I can come around him too and pull him. If needed. Or he could back down and take the easier line. He should be able to make it. Take a run at it! He's stuffing tire pretty bad. Oh, he's out now. Hey, Tim!
drive it right here. Can <laughs> I? Yeah. Hell yeah. Am I going to clear the bumper? Yeah, you got it. No, it's going to leak. Well, your back tire's up on a rock, too. If you get around that. There you go. This is his first time wheeling nice this train. thing. Is it a stick? Yeah. I didn't see that. We got some automatic problems here. There you go. Come on. Yes, it's dead. There you go. They turn it passenger or so. I'm coming down. Yeah, Tim, move your bike. <laughs> Turn your wheels that way. There you go. Good job. All right. Turn driver. Nice give it. Roll. There you go. If you're struggling to turn driver, give it a little throttle. Turn it passenger back up slightly. You got a rock right in front of you. I don't want him to take out the back drive shaft. Passenger's gonna drop in a foot as long as you don't kill it. Don't worry about me. I'll get out of the way. You got it. You got it. Hey, that's a fun thing. Hey, you drive her a little bit. There you go, man. Don't worry, that's just some fender clearance. Oh, okay. It's that stupid Tupperware on his fenders that he's rubbing. I really just want to go over there and rip it off. <laughs> First Jet Explorer. I think he's got a three inch on 31s. You're gonna, you're gonna smack your diff. Back it up. 
You're going to drop a little on the passenger. Perfect. Keep coming. Low throw. All right, you're going to drop again. There you go. Turn passenger. Keep going, passenger. Your rear's going to drop on the passenger. Look at that flex. Your disc going to drag a hair. Right at us. Keep coming. Turn passenger slightly. Back it up. Coming. That's just a bumper. Keep coming straight. Watch that tree. We're gonna hit the rock on the driver's side. Better a tire than a freaking axle. A rear window. I'm gonna drive this for the next couple days. Guess I'm uh, parking it for well, a while. Hey, at least you're doing the right thing. Yeah. Packing out what you packed in. Yeah. Packing half of it in the trunk. Hey. <laughs> at least clean up instead of leaving a mess for other people to do. Exactly. So your front passenger is going to drop about eight inches right now. How big a drop is it? Eight inches. All right, now your driver's getting ready to drop. That's a pretty big one. Your passenger's going to drop a little bit at the same time. Yep, you got it. 
driver's going to drop in. All right, passenger's going to drop off. Take it, turn driver a little bit. Ooh, passenger's dropping way in. Try to back it up. <laughs> Just the bumper. He's peeing. He's peeing. He's peeing power steering fluid. Without mowing it over. You and I both made love to trees today. I got. I got a twofer. I had to show you up. I know. Careful. Back her up. He ain't gonna hit that with those 33s. Alright, we're gonna go. Go driver, hit it! Right there. Burp it! Back it down just a hair. Can you go back just a little more? You'll have to kind of bump it. All uh, right there. Go slight driver and burp it a little bit. Don't get scared, just hit it. You want to ramp it up. <laughs> you got it, dude. Come on. You got it. Don't let off now. You got it right there. Had a kid. Had a kid. Oh, oh man. <laughs> that thing looks sweet, dude. Oh. 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 <laughs> Come on, man. You got this. Back it up. Oh, there you go. <laughs> All right, let's check. Now go down my way. All right, so far we have casualties. We got a rear window. I kind of smashed a bumper. And we got a power steering leak. Typical Ford shit, though. We're used to that. Good job, man. Yeah, I meant to make this run last year. Uh, unfortunate circumstances, but yeah. this is for him. He'd love he'd love seeing his Jeep this way. He always talks about lifting it, but never yeah. wanted to. Like, cause it just my mom and him just it wasn't gonna work. Yeah. They don't need it. He's got a big Dodge Ram, so a lifted Jeep wasn't in the picture for oh, it. Oh, you coming this way? Yeah, it's easier. Oh, 
he stalls it. We're dubbing that a Matthew. Watch your windows. Looking FJ. Yeah, it's got some nice stuff on it. Don't leave it behind. I don't want to get lost in the wood and take, like, in wrong turn. Have someone come and get me. If you start hearing banjos, yell. I got a, I got a pellet gun with me, so we'll be all right. So y'all, I'm going to do this as a two-part video. Um, consider this like a mid-break because I've got so much footage. So this is ending part one. Part two is going to follow this right up. So thanks for watching.